Niger, a crucial player on the global uranium stage, has decided to change the rules of the game. The recent rise in Niger's uranium price, from 80 cents per kilogram to 200 euros per kilogram, is a momentous move that will not only affect its local economy, but also the outlook for the global uranium market and international relations. This seismic shift in pricing strategy is sending shockwaves through the uranium industry, raising questions about the motivations behind Niger's decision and the potential ramifications for both domestic and international stakeholders. In today's video we will delve into the factors driving Niger's bold move, explore its potential consequences, and analyze the ripple effects on the world's uranium landscape. Welcome to Africa Info Hub, an educational channel dedicated to presenting Africa to the world through a renewed perspective on its rich history. Our mission is to shed light on the diverse and fascinating narratives that have shaped the continent. To ensure that you never miss out on our exceptional content, we kindly encourage you to subscribe. Niger's recent decision to multiply the price of its uranium by 300 marks a significant turning point in its historical relationship with France. For years, France has held a prominent position as the primary purchaser of uranium from Niger wielding substantial influence over the pricing dynamics of this crucial resource extracted from the African nation. Prior to the recent pricing adjustment, France had established a rate of 80 cents per kilogram for Nigerian uranium. However, this rate significantly undersold the actual market value of uranium on the international stage. To provide a striking comparison, uranium sourced from Canada, another major global player in the uranium industry, was being sold at a price nearly 300 times higher, at approximately 200 euros per kilogram. This stark disparity in pricing underscored the historical inequity in the uranium trade between Niger and France. Niger's decision to rectify this long-standing discrepancy not only reflects a desire for fairer compensation for its valuable natural resource, but also signifies a fundamental shift in their bilateral relationship. Its decision to multiply the price of its uranium is underpinned by several compelling reasons, each reflecting a strategic shift in the nation's economic and geopolitical priorities. Number 1. Economic Viability Foremost among these reasons is the pursuit of economic viability. By aligning its uranium pricing with the global standard, Niger aims to harness a significantly greater economic input from this valuable resource. This move holds the potential to not only bolster the nation's overall income, but also provide the financial means to invest in critical infrastructure and social development projects. The increased revenue generated from uranium sales can be channeled into improving education, healthcare, and public services, thereby enhancing the quality of life for Niger's citizens. Number 2. Fair Market Price Another key motivator behind the price adjustment is the quest for a fair market price. The previous rate of 80 cents per kilogram had long been deemed inadequate falling far below the actual market value of Nigerian uranium. This undervaluation not only deprived Niger of just compensation for its natural resource, but also perpetuated an imbalance in the international uranium trade. By revising the pricing to a more equitable level, Niger aims to rectify this historical inequity and ensure that it receives its rightful share of the global uranium market. Number 3. Economic diversification Beyond immediate financial gains, the decision to raise uranium prices reflects Niger's strategic vision for economic diversification. By increasing the price of uranium, Niger seeks to reduce its dependence on a single raw material export, thereby promoting long-term economic stability. This diversification effort can stimulate the growth of other industries, attract foreign investment, and create a more resilient and diversified economy. Reducing reliance on a single commodity can shield Niger from the volatility associated with fluctuations in commodity prices, safeguarding the nation's economic future.
Niger's resolute decision to increase the price per kilogram of uranium marks a pivotal moment in the nation's history and global economic landscape. It is a decision that not only underscores Niger's determination to assert its economic independence and secure a fair valuation of its resources, but also sends a resounding message to the international community. In this context, it becomes evident that the consequences of Niger's actions will extend far beyond its borders. Indeed, after meticulous analysis, experts have reached a consensus that Niger's recent decisions will unquestionably result in a cascade of international repercussions, notably encompassing. Number 1. Relations between France and Niger Niger's decision to dramatically increase the price of its uranium undoubtedly carries significant implications for its long-standing relationship with France, historically the primary purchaser of Nigerian uranium. In the short term, this pricing adjustment could give rise to tensions, as France may perceive this move as a departure from established agreements. However, it also presents an opportunity to initiate a renegotiation of terms, fostering a more balanced and equitable relationship between both nations. The need for a fairer compensation structure may lead to more transparent and mutually beneficial agreements, ultimately strengthening diplomatic and economic ties between France and Niger. Number 2. The Global Uranium Market Niger's bold pricing adjustment has the potential to send shockwaves through the global uranium market. By aligning its uranium price with global tariffs, Niger sets a precedent that may prompt other uranium-producing countries to re-evaluate their own pricing strategies. This move could trigger a broader industry discussion about fair market prices for uranium, potentially leading to adjustments in pricing structures worldwide. Such shifts in the global uranium market could have far-reaching consequences, affecting both uranium producers and consumers, and reshaping the dynamics of international uranium trade. Ultimately, the pushback against the historical influence of Francophone countries in Africa appears to have ignited a wave of change, with recent coups in the region serving as notable examples. These political upheavals are indicative of a growing sentiment among African nations to reclaim their sovereignty and assert their independence from former colonial powers. In this shifting geopolitical landscape, Niger has emerged as a striking focal point. By asserting greater control over their natural resources and seeking fair compensation, Niger is signaling its determination to break free from the shackles of historical economic imbalances. Furthermore, Niger's call for the withdrawal of French troops from its territory resonates with the sentiments of many Nigerians. The jubilant response to the recent coup that ousted President Mohamed Bazoum underscores the frustration among certain segments of the population, who accuse their leaders of being mere puppets for French interests. This sentiment is not unique to Niger and reflects a broader desire for self-determination and genuine partnerships with foreign nations rather than perceived neo-colonial dominance. As Niger navigates these complex challenges and opportunities, it stands as a vivid example of a nation seeking to reshape its destiny and define its place on the world stage, free from the vestiges of colonialism and subservience. The consequences of these shifts will undoubtedly have lasting impacts on not only Niger but the entire African continent, and its relationships with former colonial powers. What did you think of our video? Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well.